In this tutorial we will talk about uh, navigators and what they are used for, what are their, um, some of the tricks and tips that you can use. Uh, one of the biggest uh, or one of the main navigators that you will um, see uh, and get accustomed to is going to be the page navigator. If I drag it out you will see here the page navigator. This page navigator contains the projects that you're working on and the pages associated to that particular project. Um, under project data, you do have other additional navigators. So you have, if you had pre-planning uh, functionality, you have the pre-planning navigator, device navigator, terminal strip navigator, and so on and so forth, PLCs, cables, topology, the works. So basically, you will be having access to all the navigators under project data. Now, um, in a certain uh, case, what would those navigators be used for? So if I go over here to my first page, I got a list of motors. And in these motors here, there's some information I need to modify. And of course, in this case, for this example, all the motors are on the same page. But what if they, these motors were on different pages? So if I go here, project data, device, and I access the navigator, the window opens up and it shows me all the different um, devices that have uh, or that are associated in my project. Right now, everything's locked down because I'm, everything's closed up because there's nothing that's been selected yet. I can grab a motor here, any one, and I can actually right click and say synchronize selection. And he will find that motor within inside that particular navigator. In this case here, this motor 146 has been found. And I can actually go down uh, one, uh, 136, 154. Um, I have here 162, 162, 1, and this one over here, which is going to be motor 170. If I wanted to, I can actually modify these uh, inside the navigator. And I can right click here, I can go to the properties section, and I can maybe associate some function information. So I can say here functional text for all, all four motors will be that. And you'll notice that inside the schematic, that information has been already pre-configured and associated. You can also associate parts through here. I can right click properties. I can edit and table as well through the navigators and it will permit me to change or modify additional information based on these uh, different devices that I need to modify such as the function text like I did earlier. I can actually go over here and um, I can open up an Excel sheet in parallel and this Excel sheet will I'll be able to put in here um, motor one grabbing my Excel sheet just going down like that right click and copy and I'll be able to paste it over here paste and that information if I close this automatically will be transferred over so using the navigators gives me greater flexibility another element that you could do is that if you need to modify or, or, or move something to a, to a different location to a different page um, I'm just going to grab the motor as an example. I can actually go right click on this guy and say um, you have the function here to delete. But you also have the capability of under the edit function to delete the placement. So if I delete the placement, this motor automatically stays in my navigator. It is just no longer represented on my on this page per se. If I go to another page and say I grab page two and I say I want to place this motor somewhere in, in anywhere else um, where in a, in a different completely different page I can actually grab it drag and drop it out and all the information is going to come through for that motor and all the additional information I didn't have to delete anything I didn't have to restart over retype data associate parts again um, basically I can just chuck it into the navigator and then re uh, take it out from the navigator whenever I need to use it again so this is one of the uh, clear benefits that you have when you're using uh, these navigators. Another benefit that you have, and as another example, another tip would be if I have here terminal strip TB41 and I got terminals 1 to 16 and I will open up the terminal strip uh, navigator. And from within inside the terminal strip navigator, synchronized selection, I have here access to all my terminal strips. And of course, all my terminal strips are probably scattered throughout my project, but I can modify them here on the fly. I can grab all of them, right click, go to properties. And I, in the property section, I can go under parts and I can automatically assign a particular part for that. Uh, let's say I'll grab these J6 and I'll associate that to all my terminal parts. And as soon as I hit OK, that information gets transferred across. And now every single one of these terminals has a part associated to it with its additional information that relates to it. 
And of course I can modify, I can reposition also with inside the navigator, such as the terminal strip navigator, I can use here the edit functionality, which will permit me to renumber. If I need to renumber here, I can right click and say uh, number terminals, and I can say start value 10, increment by one. And as soon as I hit okay, I got this uh, different incrementation. As soon as I hit apply uh, and I close this dialog up, the information gets transferred over here. It also gets transferred over to the schematics. So again, greater flexibility using those navigators. So inside the project data, you do have access to all the different navigators that you that are required um, to better manage your uh, project to modify. You also have existing functionality such as the PLC section you have in the navigator. You also have different functions available uh, with inside the project data function. So that's what the navigators are for to edit and custom uh, manipulate your devices on a global scale as opposed to having to go through every single page and change that one by one.